right, coming into you know the spring this semester, um, it definitely was a learning curve that we had to get over. Um, from Coach Rodriguez's offense to Coach Cubic's offense is, is different, definitely different. There's a lot more passing, a lot more progression reads. Uh, we still have the zone read game. Um, it is definitely challenging at first, but we've had a lot of fun doing it. And we've this is the most fun we've had since you know the new guys have been here. And I just can't wait for the things that we do during the fall. What's it like going up against Jaya on some fun all spring? It's fun, you know. We, we're great, great players. Um, he has a great skill set. I have a great skill set. Like Coach Bowden said, we have very similar skill sets. Um, you know, outside of football, we get along very well. We have jokes with each other. We'll hang out here in the FPL lounge together. Um, but once we know we cross that line on the field, it's, it's business. We know that we're competing against each other, but it's a friendly competition. It's not anything negative. It's only positive. Um, definitely being more consistent through my reads. Uh, the next thing I would say is just growing our nucleus, our chemistry, just coming closer together as a team. And that'll just only strengthen our bond and that'll let us develop into the team that we need to be in order to accomplish championships and bowl games. All right, my mind right now is going to watch film. <laughs> um, I mean, all spring, um, it's been, you know, learning Kubik's offense. Um, you know, going up against Chandler, Habel, um, Common, and all them. Uh, I really enjoyed it, um, getting to see all the great plays uh, and players we have on the team, especially at the quarterback position. Um, uh, so it's just been really exciting uh, getting to learn the offense. Um, I mean, kind of last year, you know, learning a, a brand new offense and kind of getting uh, thrown into I, uh, the fire, I guess, uh, getting to play, you know, it's a lot to, to wrap around your mind. Um, but this spring, you know, things kind of go slow. You know, we're not playing anybody on Saturday anytime soon. So you kind of really get to, you know, dive into the offense and understand what's, what Kubik wants out of it, uh, out of certain plays and whatnot. So um, just understanding where he's at and getting on the same page with him. So I've enjoyed that a lot. As a whole, what's, what's the progression you see in the program from last year to this time to, to this year? Um, I feel like... Right now, we're able to make our playmakers make plays. Um, last year, everybody was kind of timid um, with our coaching staff, uh, a little worried to you know, not get on the wrong, uh, the wrong page with our coaches, kind of didn't want to ruffle any, any feathers. Um, but now, I feel like everybody feels you know, like they can, make, they can go out there and play. You know, they can make plays. Um, I, mean, I mean, you've seen out there, sometimes plays don't go the way, and you've got to extend the play. And I feel like a lot of guys are, are comfortable with being able to extend the play and make things happen. So. What can you tell us about today's training and the game and then going up against you know, Chandler and you guys and making the offense of, of scoring on the board and just coming out of the you know, spring practice for you and then just going up for you? Yeah, I mean, competing against him all, all spring um, has been really fun. Um, it's kind of like a competition who can make the bigger play. Um, and I mean, that's all we did all spring was one of us would go out there and make a play, next guy's in, and boom, it was just back and forth, really just feeding off of each other's energy. Uh, I believe either Bowden or Kubik uh, had said before, I mean, we really don't miss a beat when either one of us is in there. Uh, we're both able to extend plays, make explosive plays, um, and run that offense how Kubik wants him to run it. So. My confidence is through the through the ceiling right now, through the roof. Um, from what I've seen all spring, I mean, I've I've loved every second of it. Getting to see, you know, all these players kind of really come into their own. Um, I mean, I'm I'm just really excited because I feel like with Kubik's offense, anything's you know, sky's the limit. I mean, we put up 30 plus points. Uh, I think we only had one turnover, um, but I mean, we're just almost every drive we're scoring, we're getting first downs, and it's really fun to you know watch that and be a part of that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm sure you ask anybody, they're all loving it. Jai, with uh, two big emphasis on the vertical passing game, the one thing that's kind of converted to spring two is you got a number of playmakers, both on the inside and outside, and that's got to be a luxury for a Oh, yeah. I mean, we're stacked inside and out. I mean, Boogie Knight, Will Derrick, uh, Malik Jackson, uh, running back now, uh, Charlie, all of them. And then outside, I mean, we got Jevin. Uh, 
I mean, I can't even think of all the names out there. There's so many of them. Jevin, Fred, uh, Tyrone, uh, Jack, Jalen Jackson, uh, Zach Jackson. I mean, all of them. It's, there's a plethora of guys. I mean, I, see, I look outside, I see vertical. I'm like, yeah, I'm probably going to take that matchup. So, I mean, with Kubix, you know, he likes to, it's a lot of reads um, that kind of tag vertical routes off of him. And, I mean, if we got the look, we're, we're taking it. So. Open up the season at Texas. When's that clock start for you? Right after this, I'm going to go watch some film, get after it again Monday. Uh, I know Boogie Knight's going to be bugging me all weekend about Monday, getting back, in, getting back out there working. And I'm going to be right there with him, loving it every second. Uh, it's, it's good to know that I've got a group of guys around me that can, I can depend on them and they can depend on me, you know. I mean, a lot, of, a lot of programs don't always have that. They don't always have guys who are driven to, you know, get better and want to see a future uh, playing football for themselves. So, I mean, seeing, seeing guys like Boogie Knight and Zach Rasmussen um, showing up every day, doing things that, you know, you don't have to do, but why not? Why not get a little better each day? I mean, it's just fun to be around them and be around that energy. So, like I said, it starts right after this. I'm going to go watch some film, get ready for Texas. I had prepared my mind, and I was ready for whatever they threw at me. So um, they started me off at um, Will, and then a couple guys went down, so they moved my position. They changed me to Mike, so i just been bottling there ever since. Um, it mean a lot. When I entered the transfer portal, uh, I knew no doubt that I was going to come back home and play and try to help out the team. So. How has been the transition of coming back home to play football when everyone is, you know, seeing that? Um, in the beginning, it was kind of difficult trying to get adjusted to new people and new environment and stuff. But um, eventually, I got it, and it's smooth sailing now. So. Well, I don't, I'm not looking at myself as being that guy, so I'm still trying to compete for my position. Uh, after today, Monday, we're hitting back in the weight room, trying to get back right. Carl, we didn't talk about Vic's uh, defense a little bit. Obviously, you weren't here last year playing with Coach Allen, but maybe what you like most about it, how that fits your skill set. Um, Coach Vic defense, it's pretty smooth. It gives you, um, if you're out there, you just, he's just more like a relaxed defense, and you can fly around and make plays. So I, I'm pretty chill with that. 